The Way 31 I team learned today the governor and attorney general will likely release their opinions on the parole board's second corrective action plan to fix a broken system. Attorney General Steve Marshall called their first plan a miserable failure. Way 31's Brecken Terry reports what the governor said today after meeting with the AG. Governor Kay Ivey said after going over the parole board's new plan, there are some improvements, but there's still a lot that needs to be addressed. She did not go into detail on what areas still have flaws. Governor Kay Ivey said while the board's second corrective action plan was an improvement to the first one, it still lacked all the changes she wanted to see. It has some positive uh, improvements in it. There's still some areas yet to be addressed. In the past, the governor said one of her major concerns is the parole board sees no need to make any changes to its executive staff. But she's not ready to go into any other specific details. The general and I had a telephone conversation about it and talked about some of those things, so we'll keep working to be sure that things are in place as they ought to be. The board's second corrective action plan talks about more training for staff in the victim service unit, going to Georgia to see how their parole system works and says an inmate must have a clean disciplinary record for at least three years prior to being considered for parole. I'm still uh, just reviewing the entire report. The attorney general and governor must approve the parole board's corrective action plan and make sure that the changes they want to see are being implemented. In Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. The governor and attorney general demanded a second plan. The two called for action from the parole board after a series of Way 31 I-Team reports. We uncovered several issues with the release of this man, Jimmy Spencer. He's the parolee who's now the suspect in a triple homicide in Gunnersville. We found out he had several disciplinary issues while behind bars, including assault and escape. During our investigation, we also found several issues with how violent crime victims are informed of parole hearings for offenders. All of our reporting on this case is online at waytv.com. Click on the iTeam tab.